up and welcome back to the beauty corner today i'm going to be showing you how i do one of my favorite looks now this is not whatever how everybody does their methods there are probably a bunch of other designs and stuff but i'm going to show you how i do a broken doll makeup look okay first to get started I am going to be doing this, just bringing my hair back away from my face and then sticking it in a really quick ponytail just to keep it out of the way and make it easier for me to get around the edges of my hairline without getting it too much into my hairline. Now, I'm also going to be taking off my collar. Yes, for those of you who don't know, I am in a BDSM relationship, and I have a collar. Sure. Okay. Now, for me, for my foundation, since I do kind of have a little bit of... Just wanting to even out my skin tone and I have some blush or blemishes bleh, blushes that I want to cover up I am going to use a white base foundation you can also use your regular foundation and sometimes I do use my regular foundation which is in a porcelain shade but today I decided against it because this white base makeup is going to help with covering a bit more for me. Okay, so first, however, I'm going to start covering up blemishes a bit with my trusty color corrector concealing palette that is by Hard Candy. And it's yeah, the lid broke off. So first, I'm just going to use my finger with this today. Because they came up. First, I'm just going to put some yellow over top of my hickeys to cancel out all that purple. And with my finger for this, I can get a bit of a heavier application easier. Which, for this part, I really do like. Because those are pretty dang dark. Okay. So, I have some redness here. Just a little bit of a zit and my scar that come up as kind of red. And I have some redness all around my nose, too. So, I'm going to put the green there, but... I also have some dark circles, so I'm just going to do a kind of a triangle with the yellow for that. And I'm just going to do the same around here, just a tiny, tiny bit. Now, I have some remover wipes right here, so I can clean off my brushes and fingers as I go. Okay, so now I'm going just going into the green. And there goes my scar. Now I have a couple pimples almost always around here that leave a bit of a redness so I'm just going to add just a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of green just around here and just uh, as I said it before uh, around my nose. Now I'm just going to add a bit of a slightly heavier uh, application just on that really red one. Now wipe off my finger. 
No, I don't. Use, I'm not going to be using the neutrally skin tony colors right now because I don't need to. No, I'm just going to kind of take my little knockoff beauty blender thing and just kind of use this to pat it around a little bit, blend it a bit better, and make me sound a little bit funny. Okay, so next I'm going to grab my foundation brush and just one of my many cream makeup palettes. Mm. I'm going to go with this palette that has a nice dark bloody red that may be used later. I'm not 100% sure yet. Because I'm kind of making this up as I go along. Because I do variations of this look fairly often just for fun. Just because I love doing the creepy broken doll look. Okay, so I'm just going to take the white with my foundation brush ah. Throw it. the foundation brush I don't want it it's not wanting to work quite the way I want, so I'm just going to take the sponge instead. And I am actually going to cover my lips with this look, actually. Just because for a doll look, I'm going to probably want to make my lips look smaller because I have some naturally pretty thick lips. Now the crazy thing with me is I could actually probably just use this white cream makeup as my foundation if I really wanted to. If I just uh, blended it out really well. And just make this an even layer, okay? Try to keep it the same shade of white throughout. We, the goal here is, for me, is to make myself appear really, really pale. Which, I mean, I already do, so I really honestly could have very easily just went with my normal foundation, but I'm not going to. Now I'm also going to put some of this on my eyelids, because it just makes a really good base as well. Now, don't forget to go down the neck.
I'm just going to put it also on any exposed area just on my around my neck area neck and the chest just to kind of help with the illusion of me being this freaking veil I mean look at this I mean this is fail now I would also suggest kind of going on your ears as well Okay, now that I'm all pale, I'm going to take my beauty blender again, and this mattifying powder, and just a clean section, and just, it's just a translucent powder that you can get year-round but when applied like this over a white base it will also help even that out Okay, now that that's all taken care of and it's all nice and set, I am going to go in with some eyeshadows from my trusty elf palette that I got for Christmas a while ago. Now, pretty much all of this stuff is fairly affordable, not that expensive. I don't generally buy any makeup that costs more than $10. Just, no. Even my foundation doesn't cost $10. So, I would never, ever, ever say to get some big high-end one. Okay, so first off, I am just going to go in with a kind of brown shade that's kind of like that. And my little spoolie brush, just get that on there gently. And use that on my eyebrows. The main goal here is to pretty much just darken them a little bit, and, but keep them looking natural. There is no specific method for this. Just keep in mind that the goal is to keep it natural. because we are a doll. Now, for the eyes. I'm going to start with a slightly shimmery visque shade that has a slight amount of shimmer to it. 
just for my eyelids because most dolls generally wear a neutral eyeshadow look. But because I am me, I am also going to add a cut crease to my look. Hook and just kind of make it like I'm. Well, I'm just gonna kind of keep my look to me if I was a doll. Well, for the most part. Something I would wear except for with instead of fun crazy colors neutrally colors now I'm gonna take a little bit of a darker color that's matte and then just go on this outer part and then sweep into the crease just sweep into the crease and just kind of give the outer a third of the eyelid a little bit of this color too just like that and then I'm gonna do the same over here And yes, I do make weird faces. Now I'm just going to wipe that off again and add an even slightly darker one brown color to just deepen up this outside edge of the crease. Just like that. Just light sweep, just light sweep. And now I'm going to add mm, mm, this shade to above my to my brow bone. And then the, a little bit of white and this pearly color to my inner eyes. My lit section just to kind of brighten it up a bit. No. Wipe that, wipe that off again. And. Now, since I used a white base, this isn't going to show up super well, but it still has that little bit of sparkle. Now, I'm going to take this little fluffy brush and kind of blend in a small circular motion. Like this. And Just slight like that. Okay. Now I'm going to be taking this color, maybe a little bit of that one, and use that with this brush again to just contour my nose a little bit. Like so. Since the base of my makeup is white, you don't need a really dark contour. And so, now I'm also going to use those colors to Kinda just lightly, lightly, lightly. 
contour my cheekbones. And yes, I'm just using the same brush. Just lightly, because I don't want it to be too much or anything. And I'm just going to do the same, just along right here. Now, by doing this, I can also really choose just how much of a contour I want. Okay, now I am going to just use the big fluffy brush and just buff it out a little bit. Just like that. Now, I'm going to, if I can locate it again, there it is, take a blush. This is way deeper than I need it to be, but it will work if you go light enough hand And with it, so I'm just going to sweep, sweep on the apples of the cheek and like that and just kind of just make your whole cheek all rosy and stuff because you're a doll you're supposed to have cute rosy cheeks and all that jazz now wipe that brush off Now I'm going to just take a little bit of a highlight shade, not a lot, just a little bit. And just going to pop that on top of the cheekbone. And just slightly down the nose. Then I am going to take the big fluffy brush again. And just blend, blend, blend that out. Now, for the next part, I'm just going to do my liner and mascara. So I'm going to keep the long eyeliner pretty minimal, just right in the tight line, kind of, just with a very, very light amount of black right there, and a very tiny bit along the outer edge right here. Just a tiny bit like that. And that's the difference. Here. And then just that tiny bit right there again. Just gonna take a brush and very lightly just blend out the under eye one. Okay, now a lot of uh, makeup artists would suggest using false lashes. However, I'm just gonna be using the Miss Manga mascara. And 
get down on, on the under on the lower lashes too. And then here's the difference that makes not a huge amount, but it is a bit noticeable. Now go to the other eye. Now, with, I'm also going to add a little bit of white eyeliner just to my waterline. I did this after mascara because usually I end up with mascara getting into this if I do this part before the mascara. And that just does not look right. And it just kind of makes my eyes look a little bit bigger, a little bit more open. Now the last part of the doll look, just the doll, not the creepy doll look, is lips. Now, some would prefer a pink. I'm going with a darker color. So first... Use your lip liner. And for me, I am making the lip smaller and kind of heart shaped. Just like that. And now I am going to go in with my liquid lipstick, which is Stone Fox by NYX. there's the doll part. Now for the cracking, we get out the liquid eyeliner. Okay, so first pick a point of your face where you want it to look like you, somebody pressed really, really hard. Hard. And for me, I'm just going to have that be here. So I'm going to start the crack just going off that point. Now, turn your brush and hand and stuff and add angles and pressure. And so it gets different looks. Now, I am just making the really long marks right now and then kind of just now adding more just make it to your liking now we all know cracks are not always this uniform and that there's 
often like offshoots of cracks that aren't connected. I also like to add just little parts like this. And you can literally spend as much time as you want on this. Or as little. And you can put as many of them as you want. I, I like to add a bunch. Personally. But since this is a tutorial, I'm not going to go in and do all of it. it all of my normal, just for time purposes. Now I'm just going to take a little detail brush and a gray eyeshadow and come in really close so you can really see what I'm doing and I'm just going to add shading like so. Pick where you want the shadows to be on and then work from there. Just start with a light gray and then work your way up. Just do this all the way around and go slightly darker in certain spots with a darker gray. Okay, now wipe that brush off. Okay, so this is the basic. Now to take it to a little bit of the next level, fake blood. Now I'm just going to go in with my detail brush here. Now I'm just going to really, really, really load this up. And try to have some with a little bit more dripping. Just like so. And then I'm just going to kind of add some less droopy spots too. And this is it. Kind of my bleeding broken doll look. Hope you enjoy!
Now, also, some great hair looks would involve like curls and stuff. But for me, I'm going to do more of my normal. Except I'm parting my hair on the opposite side. Hope you enjoy!